folks, time for another video and shave. Alrighty. Well, um, technically, this is a Tuesday, even though you're not going to see this till Wednesday, because I usually shoot my videos the day before they're posted, because I edit and blah, 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 blah. But anyway, a soap that I haven't used in a while, and it's one of my personal kind of faves, is the back. Now, I do also have to back in the in the uh, container with the nice ceramic container with the lid. Um, but um, I don't have, actually have it here. It's in my storage unit. But I do have my tobacco shave stick. Um, the last couple times I've shaved with this, I've actually scraped it off of the stick. As you can see, the poor stick there is all. And I've put it in my bowl. But today I want to, I'm going to face lather this. So, um... Yeah, because like it says, it's a Tuesday, even though you're watching this on a Wednesday. Sorry about that, because um, I do need a day to kind of get everything kind of going up there instead of have to rush. Um, so anyway, I'm going to use the tobacco today, and I'm going to use my Rockwell 6C, not my 6S, but my 6C, because I'm using that cool handle I like on that razor that I picked up on Amazon the other day, which was my last video, that Putali, or Putala, stands for butterfly, and it's got that pack of wood handle, and by the way, I didn't have, I was looking around, and I know I had mineral oil here somewhere, because they recommend rubbing some mineral oil on this handle, just to, uh, you know, keep it nice and shiny and cool, um, or essential oil, so I actually had some, uh, Pre-shave oil, which I looked at the ingredients, and it has a lot of essential oils in it. So I actually rubbed it down with that just to get the, you know, keep it nice and shiny and whatnot. And it's not slippery. Um, and uh, I really like the handle because it's kind of cool. It's my favorite color scheme. Now, I'm not using a brush to match this today, which I should have. But because I'm going to be face lathering the tobacco today, I'm going to use my Schmoke 830 today which has been sitting there soaking while i was in the shower um and by the way i'm on plate number four boy i can't see i'm on plate number four on my rockwell 6c head so i got the rockwell head 6c head on here and i have that handle from that putali razor or putala razor um blade in there um, um, is a blade that I've been neglecting is Gillette seven o'clock black, the super platinum on its first use. So let me wet the face a little bit because, uh, I just got out of the shower not too long ago. Setting up my video stuff in here. So I'm just going to wet the face. And I'm not going to use a pre-shave because this is going to be my pre-shave. Just gonna rub this on the face. I have the usual two days of stubble. And I do have those couple of weepers I had from my last shave there. They're not fully healed up because they were like ingrown hairs, but we'll see. Yeah, usually when I use a shave stick, and I'm actually applying it straight to my face and not like shaving any off and putting it in a bowl. I usually don't put a pre-shave on. Because sometimes then the stick doesn't stick. I got a little tiny fly in here. Yeah, the weather here in New Jersey has been crazy. It's been cold, hot, cold, hot. Right now the sun's blasting in here, so we'll see. Alrighty, so that was the tobacco stick. And I'll just lather this up with the, uh, with my Schmoke 830. Which would, you know, make quick work of that. That's why I love the Schmoke, the bore brushes for this kind of 
face lather. Now, I like the scent of tobacco. To me, it has that nice powdery scent. It reminds me actually of my grandparents when they were alive, their bathroom for some reason. Some people aren't fans, some people are. I've always been a big fan of tobacco. I know it has like some lavender in it and some, I think some hints of tobacco, tobacco the plant. To me, it just has that nice powdery, calming scent. And I haven't used it in a while, so I just felt like today, why not? Oh, I just almost got some of my eye. To back. Just clear the lips. A little bit by the nose. Just want to clean my earlobe so I don't accidentally get any a lot louder down on my ear. All right, so we're gonna go with the uh, the Rockwell 6C head on that cool green and black handle from that. Putali razor or Putala razor, however you pronounce it. And the Gillette 7 o'clock black blade on its first use. Wow, that's pretty sweet. my clock in here today is like extra noisy maybe because my house is so quiet today you know the kitties are off to school my wife is actually out doing some errands we did have a death in our family on my aunt's side of the family. So towards the end of the week, we have all be doing another wake and funeral. I'm doing a lot of those lately. This is like the third or fourth one in the family. Let's, uh, that's because everybody's getting up there in age. You know, since I got the uh, Rockwell 6S, I totally neglect the 6C. Just because I like the extra, the little bit of added weight that I get from the 6S. Some folk also uh, say that the Glide is better on the 6C. I personally don't have that problem or experience that because I really don't use any soaps that don't have good slickness. 
And then if I do have any soaps that need help with slickness, I use the cube as my pre-shave, but. Because a couple people asked me back in the past, they're like, well, what's the difference between the 6C? And the 6S as far as performance and I just like the 6S a little better. I feel like it shaves me closer just because it's heavier. And a little bit of more heavier weight on it just gives me a closer shade. Now that's just my personal preference. Because the 6C is a great razor. It's a great value. I mean, it's $50 cheaper than the uh, 6S. Like I was saying in a couple of videos ago, I really wanted to get the uh, 6S in black, but it's a little pricey right now. I think they want 130 for it. Just tagging on an extra thirty dollars because it's black. I guess it's more manufacturing cost. Now the residual slickness in the tobacco is pretty decent. Yeah, I just wanted to revisit this handle because I just think it's a cool handle. I know it's kind of basic. I have a lot of other cool handles. I have some stainless handles and some titanium handles, but I just like this handle. I like the way the wood feels in my hand. That sounds funny, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. All right. That was a good first pass with the tobacco. Now the stick and the... Uh, the uh, soap that comes in a nice ceramic bowl is exactly the same. Same scent, same performance. In fact, my face is pretty slick right now. So it's like a lance going on a little light. That's just because my the lava is kind of just sliding around my face. Uh, just seeing a kitten crawl in here. <laughs> Alrighty. I think I pretty much pulled all that soap out of that knot anyway. Just going a little against the grain. It's funny, the handle actually smells like bay rum because that was the uh, the beard oil that I used to uh, put on the wood handle. Like I said, I do suggest like a mineral oil, but they also have oh, little kittens in here playing with the shower curtain. But the uh, manufacturer recommends uh, mineral oil Just to keep the luster on the wood. So I hit it up before I put it away on my last shave. All right. I 
Feels good. Just have a slight little bit on my neck. Under my chin, actually. But I want to be careful because that's where I have those weepers. They weren't nicks, they were just like little weepers, but that's because I had a couple little ingrown hairs there. Just show you these two crazy clowns. What are you guys doing? <laughs> it's like a match pair, almost. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Go play. Just don't climb up my legs. <laughs> all right, just gonna check my face one more time, real quick. Yeah, smooth there. A little bit there, but I really don't want to. All right, stop it, Glenn. Don't go any further because I will just irritate myself. That was actually pretty awesome. Just gonna rinse out my sink real quick for a little whiskers. <laughs> crazy kitties. Look, crazy kittens. Alrighty. Just gonna wash. Uh, Let's just do a cold water rinse. Now the water is actually colder now. We've been getting those at least cold nights. So. Awesome. At least I didn't get any lather down in the old ears today. Because when it goes down into the eardrum, it's just like, gets you that crackle noise all day. Or, not all day, but at least for a little while after the shave. Alright, so that the back was really good. <laughs> My shirt's getting a little worn out there from getting wet. Alright, so... That was the tobacco and the stick. I usually, after I use it, and if it gets a little wet, I usually just kind of pop it up a little bit there and then I put it over there to dry for a little while. Doesn't take that long. That was nice. Good stuff. So that was the Rockwell uh, 6C head. And that was on plate number four, if you can see that. With that emerald colored pack of wood handle. And the blade that was in there is the uh, Gillette. Seven o'clock black. Still has some... Uh, <laughs> Still has some soapies on it. And that was the Super Platinum Gillette 7 o'clock blacks. And that was actually said like that was on plate number four. <laughs> Cats are all over the place. Yeah, I really digging that handle. I just like the color. It's a cool color. I know it's real basic and all, but I think it's pretty cool. 
and it was inexpensive so that's what really why I bought it because I like the way that the handle looked and the brush today was the Schmo 830 which I already kind of rinsed it out so there wasn't much lava left in it anyway because usually when I face lather that with a stick I don't have a ton of uh, soap left over in it I've been trying to get my other smoke brush that I uh, that I haven't used in a while, my 1250, to bloom as good as uh, this 830. But I've had the 830. I've had these two brushes about the same amount of time, but the other brush, that 1250, was in my storage unit for about a year and a half. So. I think I only used it like once or twice before I put it away in storage right before we moved. So, but the 830 uh, got lots of use over the last year and a half, and that's why that knot looks so bloomy on that compared to the, you know, that knot there. So I always call that the blooming onion. It's good stuff. So that's a Schmogate 30 brush. Good deal. And that's my uh, 1250. It's getting there. It is soft. Alrighty. Now, what I always like to use after tobacco. <laughs> He's catching too much. What I really like to use always after this tobacco is, I even though the tobacco doesn't have like a tobacco -y scent, I always like to use Ingari's Lothario. I just think it's a nice uh, aftershave bomb that matches the, doesn't really match the tobacco like, cause this has more of a tobacco scent. But I just, I like the way it feels afterward, afterwards with the, uh, it just kind of blends right into the tobacco. It is one of my favorite, bombs especially if you're looking for that tobacco now when I'm talking tobacco I'm not talking like cigarette smoke somebody asked that the other day in one of the Facebook forums it smells like that just that like a great tobacco shop that aroma of that nice tobacco it just feels very awesome All right, so that was just a quick little shave today. Actually, I don't know what my time was in the video because the, they made the counter so small I can't see it anymore. So, I finished off, like I said, with the uh, Zingari Lothario. Good stuff. That bomb soaks in quick. Makes your face feel phenomenal. All right, folks. Ah, that's good stuff. All right, so... If you like my video thumbs up if you didn't give it the old thumbs down and uh please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet and uh yeah good shave face feels good those little things over there are healing up nice from last shave so should be golden all right until next time glenn signing off